do you have worries of longer term existential risk from technology, from AI? So I think that's a wonderful vision of a future where war is a distant memory. But now there's another agent, there's, there's, there's somebody else that's able to create conflict, that's able to create harm. AI systems. So do you have worry about such AI systems? Well, yes, that is an existential risk. But again, I think an existential risk, not for this century. Mm. I think our grandkids are going to have to confront this question as robots gradually approach the intelligence of a dog, a cat, and finally that of a monkey. However, I think we will digitize ourselves as well. Not only are we going to merge with our technology, we'll also digitize our personality our memories, our feelings. You realize that during the Middle Ages, there was something called dualism. Dualism meant that the soul was separate from the body. When the body died, the soul went to heaven. That's dualism. Then in the 20th century, neuroscience came in and said, bah, humbug. Every time we look at the brain, it's just neurons. That's it, folks, period. End of story. Bunch of neurons firing. Now we're going back to dualism. Now we realize that we can digitize human memories, feelings, sensations, and create a digital copy of ourselves. And that's called the Connectome Project. Billions of dollars are now being spent to do not just the Genome Project of sequencing the genes of our body, but the Connectome Project, which is to map the entire connections of the human brain. And even before then, already in Silicon Valley, today, at this very moment, you can contact Silicon Valley companies that are willing to digitize your relatives <laughs> because some people want to talk to their parents. Yeah. There are unresolved issues with their parents. And one day, yes, firms will digitize people and you'll be able to talk to them a reasonable facsimile. We, le we leave a digital trail. Our ancestors did not. Our ancestors were lucky if they had one line, just one line in a church book saying the date they were baptized and the date they died. That's it. That was their entire digital memory. I mean, their entire digital existence summarized in just a few letters of the alphabet, a whole life. Now we digitize everything. Every time you sneeze, you digitize it. You put it on the internet. 